What's up, y'all? Devon here again for Obligatory, and today we are reading some of your reviews of Chance the Rapper's Acid Rap for its 10th year anniversary. If you're not familiar with how one of our Obligatory reviews works, we survey our followers to get our community score, but we also ask them what their favorite three tracks were. And if you have writing or a review on the album, you can submit that in the survey as well, and we'll either use it in our social media posts or in one of these videos. If you want to score albums with us or submit your writing to us, we post new surveys every week and review new albums every week. So follow the link in the description for this week's survey. And I'll start this review off by reading the team review for this album, written by yours truly. One of the many great free albums released during the 2010s under the cultural guise of mixtapes was Acid Rap, and it stands 10 years later as one of the most widely treasured projects from this era. What attracted hip-hop fans and eventually the masses to Chance's songs were his exuberant, delirious deliveries and solidly introspective songwriting. While right on schedule for the era it was conceived in retrospect, Acid Rap was never quite the timeless and exotic experience that it was made out to be. Zany and unorthodox, yeah, unequivocally. Ten years later, Chance's unique and exciting vocal work remains to be his superpower as it's responsible for so much of Acid Rap's catchiest material. Recent releases from Chance have been somewhat devoid of the animated spirit and slight unpredictability that made him initially appealing. The features here still give a nice variety and account for many of the album's most beloved tracks, over time, the more subtle, subdued, and nuanced tracks have come to stand out. Songs like Paranoia and Acid Rain bring so much contrasting value to the table. Thankfully for Chance, there's still a little something in here for a significant variety of hip-hop listeners, and Acid Rap will likely continue to be a nostalgic favorite for years to come. All right, so obviously I'm a fan of this album. This came out when I was in high school and I remember being really excited about it in the days and weeks leading up to it. I remember having a lot of expectations surrounding it and it pretty much matched or exceeded even some of the expectations that I had at the time. At the time, it really did seem to be one of the most fresh and different and uh, instantly appealing popular rap albums out. And it really wasn't even that popular when it initially came out. But over time, this really did grow to just be an icon and a beacon for the late era of like Dat Piff album mixtape releases uh, as we were really transitioning into the streaming era. And something you'll probably notice when I'm reading these community responses is the common nostalgia factor that we all seem to get out of this record still. This tape has a special place in my heart, the first album I truly fell in love with. I've listened to it countless times, and it's the reason I have a Chance the Rapper tattoo. Well, Zach, you are not alone in that. One of our team members, Trent, aka Loud Packs, has a Chance the Rapper tattoo as well. But one of a few music-related tattoos that he has of his favorite artists. Uh, but again, this is like a really easy album to fall in love with if you really like what this album is going for. And it's a really replayable record once you're hooked on it as well. One of the albums that shaped me as a kid, I remember listening to Acid Rain, Paranoia as a 13-year-old. Oh, that's funny, those are my favorite tracks now too. And feeling like I was coming of age. Chance really fell off after after this, but he captured a very specific feeling from this time in alternative hip hop. His vocal performances are also top notch and all the features deliver, even Bronson, although I don't want to hear any Nana slander. Um, yeah, that and the Absol song mostly finish as my least favorites now these days. But again, pretty much all the features here are mostly solid and again, they make for a lot of the best and most popular tracks on here as well. This mixtape is pure fun and one I hold dear to me. Chance's inflections and energy is infectious and the deep cuts are incredible too. Acid Rap has a certain nostalgia in it that I don't get from a lot of records. Chance's best in my opinion, amazing project. All right, one more, a uh, great album has a very genuine and humble feel to it. And I wanna highlight those two words, genuine and humble. Feels like it's just Chance making music the way he wants and saying what he wants. Acid Rap is not trying to be anything but itself. And that is an excellent point. All of this right here are great points uh, because what sets an album like Acid Rap or even, in my opinion, Coloring Book, apart from an album like The Big Day, is this very genuine, humble, earnest, hungry, and adventurous spirit that is just emanating from every word, lyric, melody, song, whatever you want to call it. The personality of a Chance the Rapper really carries a lot of weight in his music because he's a great performer. He's not 
an exceptional rapper or a songwriter or an amazing beat picker, but he is a great performer and he can write really catchy songs and animate himself in ways that make him stand out. Again, even right now. And somehow an album like The Big Day is overly enthusiastic and not genuine to the point of like cynicism. And it's awkward on top of the fact that this guy just sounds awkward. So yeah, a lot of people out there still think this is a fantastic record and it really is still a pretty great, really, really good record. But like many of you said, the nostalgia factor in this is so real. And so many of us have great or significant memories of kicking back and listening to this album during interesting times in our lives. And I think I speak for many of us when I say that when the next Chance the Rapper project comes along, I'm really hoping that some of this spirit is re-encapsulated and put back into his new music. And I'm not asking him to remake this album or any of his old music, but something about the joy and excitement of that early music needs to be found again for us to really get excited about Chance the Rapper music in the future. So thank you guys so much for submitting your writing to us again. The results of this review are gonna be posted probably by the time you even see this video. So hit our Instagram in the description below, subscribe here, follow us there, and we will be back soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.